Fitter Friday here at Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van. Here with fellow fitter James Tracy, I'm Thomas Campbell. We're here to test the new Ping G410 Plus driver versus the Ping G400 LS Tech and G400 Max driver. Really excited to see some of these numbers, James. Absolutely, yeah, thanks for inviting me to watch you uh, smash drivers again, Thomas. Let's get after it. I'm really excited. All right, Thomas, we got three heads we wanted to try this morning. Which one do you want to start with? First, gonna start with the G400 Max. 400 Max? Yep. Cool. Nine degrees, Ping Tour 75S. We'll find some fairways here right off the bat. That's yep. good. Can't complain with a little bit more forgiving head to start out with, that's for sure. So right now with this driver set neutral, what's for those that haven't maybe watched you hit balls before, what uh, what type of ball flight do you tend to like with the driver, Thomas? Um, I don't like to leave it way out to the right. Don't I mean this was more that shot there was more of a push than anything, but I don't like to slice it. So okay. so a right ball to that's falling it, left like is better for your curving eyes. just a little bit to the left overall. Yep. Great. Maybe start a little right and then curve back to the line. Great. That was a little bit of a miss hit, but let's see. Yep. That was definitely an early morning golf swing there. Well, you know, sometimes one of those first couple holes can be a dog leg left. <laughs> you might have gotten away with it. At least it didn't go right. That was a smoother swing. I would say in a standard setting, you know, the, the G400 Max, it's definitely draw friendly. It's not a draw bias head by any means, but it's, yep. it's definitely a head that I feel like most golfers can turn over pretty easily. So. Yep. Sound a little bit more solid. Yeah. Really is going left today. Well, he got some nice shape going this morning, yeah. Thomas. So let's let's jump that LS Tech into the mix. We'll see how the data and the numbers change. Sounds good. You know, I I would say that generally speaking, some of that right to left movement you might see minimize a little bit with the LS Tech head. Maybe a little more penetrating ball flight. Yep. In your past in testing these two models, which one did you tend to to favor? Uh, I tend to favor the slightly smaller head, the LS Tech head, um, G400 Max head. Just, you know, it's in the past, it's always spun just a little bit more for me. Yeah. Um, so that's why yeah. I kind of like the smaller, more compact head of the two of them. But kind of fits your eye a little bit better. Fits my eye a little bit better, yep. All right, so we got G400 LS Tech. But in saying that, it's still big enough and forgiving enough for sure. So I'm going to leave this in the standard setting just so we're testing it at the same lie angle. Okay. Obviously going a half degree up in loft to match them at nine would flatten the lie angle out a little bit on that ping. So we'll just keep these both in the neutral setting. Okay. I don't think that was left. Nope. Hit solid though. Contact yeah. is great. Considering I left that, that face quite far open, it still went a long way. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't very good either. All right, time to figure the swing out here. Well, you're getting a smash of 150, so I mean, <laughs> you're not very good would be most of our extremely good. So I'll, yep. let, you, I'll let you complain to yourself on All that right. last one. Face angle was wide open. It's not going to happen again. So you're setting the stage for potentially, uh, call it a Goldilocks moment, where <laughs> kind of had G400 max a little left. LS Tech, while it's fixing your left, it's not really fixing the ball flight in the way that you would like, because yep. you prefer a ball that's falling left, so. Mm -hmm. I definitely fight, felt like I had to fight that one a little bit more, for sure. Yeah. Yep.
That was a little better. That was the best ball of the test. Yeah, there was a little bit of uh, There's a little frustration, exactly, swing, yep. I could, see, I could see the veins in your arms <laughs> flexing a little bit on that one. Too much of a perfectionist here to see that going right and left. Yes, that's fine. I'll give you one more to finish that All spot right. up. Yeah, that last one felt pretty solid. There you go. Nice. Again, kind of what we predicted a little bit, you know, your two misses with the first head, the G400 Max, more left. Yep. Two misses with the LS Tech head, a little bit more to the right. Yep. And then if you look at your two best hits, you know, the yellow being the LS Tech and the white being the G400 Max, you know, due to a little bit better ball speed and a little more optimal spin you had, both of those hits on the same line went a little further with the LS Tech. Mm -hmm. So I'd say, you know, just from a head shape standpoint, you prefer that one. And I'd say the data is kind of leaning that way yep. a little no, bit. However, I, agree. I know that working with you before and playing <laughs> golf with you, these two right misses you would be talking about for three weeks. So <laughs> we probably are hoping that the, uh, the 410 plus just helps us kind of shape your ball flight a little bit dial more it in a little bit tighter here. That's the hope here, for although sure. I was, although I was still pretty impressed with that one that I, the first one I hit right, that still did get 300, even though it was going right, you would think going right, probably not going to quite go as far. Yeah. So that was always interesting. That's, that's the one thing that we've seen is really good ball speed, you know, regardless of where you're hitting these in terms of the hit location, which is definitely a calling card for ping. They're typically very good at protecting ball speed across the face. Yep. All right, let's try a new toy here. So we got 410 plus. Nine degrees. Thomas, can you ensure that that weight is in the standard setting? Weight is in the standard okay, heading, kind of right in the back, right in the, in the middle right there. So we'll leave that neutral for now. And again, same shaft, standard lie angle setting as well. Yep. I know in the past I've said this on maybe a couple other ping videos, but before 10, these turbulators per se, I guess, and everything on the top just seems a little more crisper than anything else. Yeah, they're so sharp. They're sharp, that's for yep. sure. Nice sharp lines yep. on it. Yep. So. It even has that slightly raised kind of two little, I don't know what you call those on the back edge there, kind of two yep. little fangs running down the back of the crown. Yeah. Kind of really makes that driver tough looking. Yep. And there's a lot of sharp lines versus kind of softer lines, like you said on the previous G-Series models. It's a different look. That was a little better. That was a great ball there. Pretty much zero curve on that one. Maybe pull just a little bit. God, I want your pulls, Thomas. I would, <laughs> I would borrow those from you all 14 holes. <laughs> Very nice. Let's see one more. All right. Same kind of shot. Excellent. But shaping up to be a little bit better pattern for sure. Yeah. How you, know, you said before that the LS Tech's always been a little bit more in your wheelhouse in terms of the shape and the sound. How would you describe this morning, the 410 plus? Um, it looks a little bit closer to the LS Tech for sure than the G400 Max. G400 Max just looked a little larger looking down at it. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, nice, big, forgiving drive, MOI is gonna be great, but I just, for me, just didn't quite fit my eye, just mm -hmm. a little too large. Mm -hmm. This one looks kind of pretty compact, kind of the same kind of look as the uh, LS Tech, essentially, so. How about in terms of just the face and the sound feel like the um, energy and the sound were better, worse, different? It sounded louder. Yeah. I don't know if we can, we can tell, but it definitely sounded a lot louder than the other two heads, for sure. Yeah. 
Yep, and feel off the face, it was pretty good too, so. Liked it. Well, I, I liked it a lot, yeah. Crunched the data a little bit. I mean, obviously, you know, focus being on dispersion, you know, that one definitely did blend in, in the neutral setting, the downrange performance that we saw from G400 Max and LS Tech was it was kind of that Goldilocks effect. It was kind of right in between. This purple pattern yep. represents those last four hits. Yep. Which I like. You, know, you had two falling right, two falling left. So you know, knowing what ball flight you prefer, I think we'll try that weight in the heel here in a second. Yep. Just to see what we get. But yeah, really impressive on t in terms of the numbers. So you know, if we look at ball speed, you know, ball speed's going up. And your club head speed's moving up a little bit. So we might mm -hmm. be waking up. Uh, a little bit this morning, <laughs> uh, that golf swing of yours, you were maybe a little bit determined to swing <laughs> a little bit more uh, aggressive as uh, you weren't getting the pattern that you're normally yep. used to, but you know, definitely seeing really good efficiency across the board. You know, a little bit lower spin with this model, um, you know, 2,800 on both the G400 Max and the LS Tech, which is a little surprising, but I would, I would chalk that up to more shots falling right with yep. the LS Tech. You I would know, agree. It gave yep. you just a little higher spin rate. Um, just because you had a little bit more right and left with that head. Yep. Whereas because this one was turning over and flying a little straighter, I think your spin and launch were just a little bit more optimal. And then we saw from a total distance, the LS Tech and the 400 and the 410 plus definitely winning the carry distance uh, battle, but just a little tighter pattern for sure with the 410 plus. Yeah, I like I liked the numbers there with the 410 for sure. I love the fact of seeing that that dispersion was a lot tighter, like you said. Yeah. That's that's important to me. Well, but let's yeah. do what we haven't been able to do on a ping driver in ever and throw some weight around. Let's do some um, adjustability. I yeah, I would it. say yeah. again, you know, for you, uh, my first uh, move would be to drop that weight into the heel just to try to take away that one That's side, right. which I know you yep. hate, which is the right. And so we'll slide that weight into the heel position. Sounds good. And then, you know, in terms of the other added adjustability with this driver, you know, that flatter lie angle side, um, Probably helps players that miss to the left more. Yep. I find that flattening the driver out definitely helps get that ball started out to the right. But I think it'd be interesting to see, you know, even with your swing, what what a flatter lie angle mm -hmm. would do. See if it makes any impact. Yeah, you know, ideally I'd love a driver to you know just be able to go off it hard and not worry about it. You know, obviously go off offline a little bit. So that may be intriguing. The idea that I can flatten it out about, go after it hard. Not worry about it turning over big time. I always know I've got some, you know, draw bias in that position there. But this, you know, do you see any correlation between the players that you might fit for irons in a flatter line angle, liking or requesting a flatter line angle in their driver, and then vice versa? You know, like a taller player, you know, making a driver more upright to help them with hit location and setup. Do you see that uh, in fittings at all? Definitely with irons. Yeah, de yeah. I definitely know it's with irons. Uh, obviously, you have m you can order spe specifically irons at, you know, more upright or, or flatter f based on their on their height um, and what shot pattern we are seeing for sure. And that probably is the biggest, you know, where we, where we see the biggest, um, I mean, everything seems to be, you know, it changes a lot essentially, yeah, so. Do you think that a player that you have previously fit for a flatter lie angle, let's say you went with, you know, a red dot or something really, you know, under standard from yep. ping and irons, would you be thinking about trying the flatter lie angle sleeve right away for a player in their driver? Um, I'm, I, would be, I would be worried about hit location, to yeah. be honest. I'd be worried about where they're going to hit it on the club face first before really trying to do that, because really when it comes down to hit location is the most important factor to try and get the ball going further. So I'd be worried about if they're obviously already hitting the middle of the club face, then why really adjust that, that, sure. that angle too much? So, yeah, so yeah. you'll use lie angle not only to help with hit location, but also down, down, down the range, range performance. Yeah. And yep. kind of see how those two melt. Well, we'll test that in a second here. Yep. Though I'm sure most of these you hit in the center, but we'll see what we can do. All right. All right, so we got draw setting with the weight. So we just slid okay. that weight in the heel, same loft shaft. And this is still the 410 plus. I like that shape. Mm -hmm. Sound a little off center. <laughs> yeah, it's only at 146. Yeah, so again, little, still a little lower. Only lost two yards on your average carry, so that was, like you said, good flight. Made up for a slight miss hit. <laughs> oh, God. That's left.
I didn't know you missed fairways, Thomas. <laughs> This is a. Uh, it happens. It's a revelation to me. I need to get outside and play some golf outside. I'm <laughs> starting to go crazy here in Minnesota yeah, in March. No, no kidding. I hear you. Can only hit so many shots on a simulator. That was a good comeback swing there. Yeah. Those last two are pretty good. Well, ping engineering is uh they're doing they're they're doing their jobs. They're filling their uh their quota for the week. They did move all four of those hits were left of the center line there, Thomas. Yeah, so well, again, interesting. Couple one miss a little bit more left than you would have preferred, but yep. again, the, the technology is doing what it's supposed to, which is you know cleaning up your misses to the right. So yep. you know, I know as a as a player who's trying to eliminate the right hand side of the golf course, you know that would be potentially a setting that should give you some confidence to. Mm -hmm. not expect that ball to miss right of yep. where you're aiming to. So, yeah. so again, what I would say is that because that weight setting helps the downrange performance, you might be a candidate for trying a flatter lie angle. You know, the ones that missed left, if I'm watching where that ball was starting, it was starting a little left of everything. And then we'll see how that flatter lie angle influences hit location. Yeah, you can um, find that too, yeah. You know, that would influence ball speed too, you know, theoretically, if you're hitting it a little bit more in the center. Mm-hmm. I think changing the line angle on driver changes setup too. I mean, there's there's no way that, um, especially a player like you, won't notice that that difference at the yep. at address. So let's flip that thing around into the flatter setting. You know, in terms of the numbers that you typically will put up on the driver, I'd say at nine degrees, this one's pretty darn close to pretty being close, yeah. right in the optimal range. I know a couple, a couple weeks ago we were testing that Callaway driver and we talked about. Theoretically putting you down at eight degrees just yep. out of greed, out of you just wanting to maximize distance entirely. Yeah. But, you know, I'd say that your launch and spin and peak height are, are all right where you'd want them to be, yeah. even I'm in a nine degree setting. Just a little guy. I'm just trying to hit as far as I possibly can here. So I'm going to draw weight, and then this is the flattest, the flatter side. Still in the standard loft, though. Okay. We'll throw a couple more out there. Yeah, definitely feels a little bit different. On 68 ball speed, I like the sound of that. One day I'll get to 170, right? <laughs> yeah, one day. <laughs> that was an immediate improvement in the ball speed, so that's exactly was, what yeah. we wanted. Interesting. Let's hit a couple more. Left, left. Now you definitely Great eliminated system. my right shot. <laughs> I'd say the folks in Scottsdale did a better job of that. You know, <laughs> I was just clicking the wrench. <laughs> the driver's doing more of the work than I am. All right. That sounds solid. Another 168. Boom. There we go. That's a shot I want to hit. Uh, it was a rope. Awesome hit there, Thomas. 285 on the carry, 2200 on the spin. Boy, it's hard to really jot down any better numbers than that. That was awesome. Yeah, that was How really does good. the setup at the flatter lie angle? It definitely feel? took a little bit. It felt like I was just maybe adjusting a little bit here. Yeah. Just because I didn't notice it right away. Yeah. But it, I mean, we can see. Two of those three were both speed and 168, and then we really hadn't seen that right away. So All maybe three of those hits totaled further than the best three hits at the standard line goal. So, yeah. I mean, there's no doubt that the draw weight is helping to eliminate the right-hand side, and then yep. coupling that with a flatter line goal, holy smokes, we're really getting some awesome, awesome data. Yeah, yeah that's really good. Yeah, we'll sit one more for hit good measure, more. get four yeah. and four, but yeah, this is really, uh, this is really impressive.
just can't get to 170. <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy who just <laughs> roped four over 300 yards with a perfect draw, right? It's hard to please. Yeah. But I would say that, you know, this is a, a perfect example of why, you know, offering the fitting capabilities of this 410 driver, you know, Ping has just really made fitters' lives a lot easier. I mean, look at where we started with the white and the yellow patterns. Yep. 400 Max and LS Tech. You know, you were kind of craving something right in between and just going to the 410 model, even in the neutral setting, was better. Mm -hmm. um, that was the pattern in the purple. Moving the weight in the heel moved us into the light blue, which brought the left side more into play yep. and eliminated your big miss to the right. And look at this orange pattern. I mean, those are probably, I would argue, your four best balls in the whole test. Yeah, um, I agree. All in that weight and lie angle um, setting. So, um, yeah. yeah, I what like did that. you think I, of that? It, it, like I said, it took me about one swing to kind of feel like it got kind of, I feel like every time I was kind of adjusting a little bit, but it got me in a comfortable spot where I feel like I could go after it hard and maybe, maybe pick up a little more distance. Maybe I can maybe go after a little harder and get that ball speed over 170. Maybe. <laughs> like I yeah. said, that's the one well, thing again, I noticed. That, but you know, that's, that's more on you to just yeah. try to add some club head speed, right? Yep. To get the, to raise your ceiling for ball speed, but mm -hmm. I mean the, the ball speed on average with that combination at 167.8 was was clearly our best yep. um, in that entire test. If we take a peek at the hit location, your average hit location with the uh, standard lie angle, you know, slightly high, slightly in the heel. So that's maybe yep. even adjusting the oh. T height there to add a little bit of ball speed there. Yep. But I mean, look at look at <laughs> how consistent yeah. your contact was with the flatter lie angle. You know, it definitely tightened up your, your, your hit location for sure. You're finding the same spot on the face. Yep. Um, and certainly that's gonna lead to better downrange performance for sure. Then I'd say, you know, the other thing I noticed is, you know, you're just slightly inside on the heel. Mm -hmm. So just by pulling that weight from the center and sliding that into the heel, and we just, we're putting more insurance and more energy in that side of the face. I think that's helping to, you know, scrub a little more ball speed off the, into your face too. So I think all those things are really going to help you, you know, achieve that, that data that you're yep. looking for. Yep. Nice work. We added about 15 yards from the G400 Max just by optimizing the settings, the weight, and the lie angle of that new 410 Plus. You know, even just moving the weight into the heel, that added about six yards to your carry distance, which yep. is, you know, brilliant. And then, you know, that pattern really shrunk, got rid of your you know, you're the worst ball flight uh, look that you have on the golf course, which is that ball that falls to the right. So you know, I definitely think that, you know, especially for a tinkerer like you that has really specific ball flight needs, I think that 410 plus is going to be an awesome model for us this year in the fitting bays. Yeah, it was really interesting. I mean, I'll take any yard I can possibly get, for but sure. 15 yards, yeah. I'll, I'll take that any day. I mean, that, that's pretty cool. And also the fact that we happen to eliminate that right side. So that was really important to me. I don't know if you've maybe seen any of his other, other videos of me, my driver testing, but I hate to hit it right. Yeah. So the fact that I was hitting a little bit right earlier on in the fitting there, we were able to nail that down to make it a little bit more of a draw bias. I loved it. Really good bull flight. Awesome. Well, you know, with Thomas as a shining example, you know, come in and get fit for the new 410 plus driver and see how much yardage you can pick up at second swing.